Okay, I think we're officially recording now, so I want to officially welcome everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us at the at this short uh, on the short notice. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, it looks like uh, things are connecting well. It looks like Angela maybe has a little bit of low bandwidth, so we can't see her camera, but but that's okay. I think she can still talk to us. Um, let's just go around the room, uh, the virtual room. I'll call on you and just let me know uh, where you teach and what you teach and what else should we ask, Brandon? Favorite ice cream. That works for me. That works. All right, that works for me. So let's start with Brandon. I'm oh. Brandon. I am the Q's guy. I'm Clint in Q's. Um, he and I do the same type of stuff, um, just different service centers. And favorite ice cream is anything frozen. I yeah, I so. agree with that. And, and so if, if, if you're just joining us, um, the reason why some of you guys are, if you're not in my class, but we're here with Brandon, or if, if you're in Brandon's class or my class or whatever, Brandon and I are going to be teaching the same course at the same time out of the same uh, course content. We just have it split up so that it's you're not trying to keep track of conversations with 50 people at once. Uh, and so we can individualize it a little better for each uh, for each of you. And so we, we are teaching from the exact same Canvas course. Uh, and we'll do this weekly meeting uh, every Thursday about this time. Uh, if you can join us, great. If you can't, that's totally fine. Uh, we will just ask that you take some time, you know, before Sunday to watch that recording archive. We'll show you where all that stuff goes. Um, and it's just a time so we can get together and, and you know, discuss what we're expecting for the week, uh, answer any questions uh, that you may have, and just, just have a time to get to see you face-to-face, -face, uh, get to know who you are and where you're doing and your struggles and your needs and, and the things you're doing great. We just want to be able to to work with you and communicate with you that way. Um, I'll go next, I guess. So I'm Clint, I am Brandon in Southwest Utah. So I work with uh, Washington Iron, Millard, Beaver, Garfield and Kane counties, plus some charter schools uh, that we have. My favorite ice cream is probably a caramel cashew concrete from Nielsen's. I'll go on, I'll, I'll go on record with that, so. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Colette, why don't you go ahead and go next? Hi, um, I'm Colette Hansen. I teach at Mount Pleasant Elementary, and I teach kindergarten. And my favorite ice cream is anything with nuts and caramel. There you uh, go. Loose tracks, something like that. Very nice. All right, Angela Wilmot, um, go ahead and unmute. And if you can hear us, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. There you go. Hi, I'm Angela Wilmot. I teach at Red Hills Middle School in Ridgeville. Okay. And I don't really like ice cream, so. What do you teach? Yeah. I teach math and family and consumer science. Okay, cool. Like ice cream. Heidi next to you? Yeah, I um, teach sixth and seventh grade reading. And I like pralines and cream ice cream. Cool. I'm kind of with the, ch the caramel and nut kind of thing too, so it's pretty awesome. And you're there at Richfield Middle School too? So uh, I'm at Red Hills also. Red Hills, okay. Cool. Corby. Yeah, I'm Corby Briggs, and I teach technology and engineering in, uh, in Moroni at North Santa Peak Middle School. Uh, I'm, I'm not big on ice cream either. I, What's no, wrong with I'm these people, I'm Brandon? Okay the bar. <laughs> That's it. All right. Thanks, Corby. Appreciate you. And if you guys have done this 100 times, I apologize. You're mostly the, the people from Q, so it's good for me to to reconnect with you guys and, and see where you are. Jeanette. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and I teach math and health at South Severe Middle School. And my favorite ice cream today is <laughs> Almond Joy ice cream from the red Big Red Barn, Rolly's Big Red Barn. Nice. And ice cream favorites can change. That is totally acceptable. All right, Nicole. I'm Nicole Lamb from Moroni Elementary, and I teach first grade, and I like Aggie ice cream. It doesn't matter what kind. It's Aggie ice cream. <laughs> Very good. Hey, sorry, back to where, who's with Jeanette. Sorry. Sonia. Sonia, yeah, that's Sonia. right. Um, my name is Sonia Ogden, and I teach U.S. history and 
facts, home ac, CCA, and my favorite ice cream. Oh my goodness, there's too many to mention. I take vanilla and put Oreos in with it. I like burnt almond fudge. I like red button caramel cashew. I don't, there's too many, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> you can have a favorite of the day. Uh, Kim Balazzi, Balazzi? Balazzi. Balazzi, thank you. I'm Kim Balazzi and I teach special education at Ashman Elementary in Richville for a K-3 school. And my favorite ice cream is the red button raspberry with chocolate chips. It's to die for. Is it pockets of raspberry? Yes. Oh, that would be, my dad would love that. So that's good. Very good. Kim Parsons. Kim Parsons. I'm Kim Parsons. Kim Parsons. Um, I teach at South Let's see. Colette, can you mute for a second? It looks like it's feeding back on your end. Oh. No worries. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, no, Kim Parsons. I teach at South Severe Middle School with Jeanette and Sonia. And um, I teach reading and business CCA, keyboarding, and I'm the tech site specialist at our school. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, my uh, favorite ice cream. I'm boring. I like good old just chocolate. So. Hey, Colette, unmute yourself <laughs> or your speakers. Just mute your microphone, or maybe I'll just send her a little chat message. <laughs> yeah. Let's see who's next while I, while, next I while, while, while I text her. There you go. Is that Colette? You're back in? Yeah. Yeah, if you're not speaking, maybe just have you guys mute your microphone. Just it's just good practice in meetings like this. The the feedback's doing well, like there hasn't been much, but just to be safe, you should see your name right beneath the presenter with video, and there's a little microphone button out there to the right. If you just mute yourself while you're not speaking, uh, that would be awesome. But don't be afraid to jump in and, and if you need to, if you want to ask a question or anything. Cool. Okay, who's next? We got Kim, Nicole, we heard from Rob. I'm Rob Lowe. I work at Richfield High School. I am their technology specialist. Uh, I currently don't teach any classes. I would love to teach computer science, digital media, all that kind of stuff. Cool. With your green screen behind you, I'm expecting to like see fishes or something. Yeah, I'm going to try and get that set up, but it's not ready yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> recordings. It just doesn't work live. Next week. Hey, wait. Yeah. Back up. You're their site specialist, and you don't have to teach any classes? Not yet. Something's not fair in this district. <laughs> I know. I want to teach classes. They won't let me. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Rob. Did you say your favorite ice cream? Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Very good enough. Tammy. Okay, I'm Tammy Anderson. I teach sixth grade math, and then I'm the instructional coach like half a day at Red Hills Middle School. And my favorite ice cream is cake batter from Cold Stone. Ooh. That's the best. Just that plain cake batter. Very nice. Welcome to class. And Thanks. Justin Jenkins. Yeah. I'm Justin Jenkins. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. I'm Justin Jenkins. I teach at Morona Elementary, sixth grade math and science and favorite ice cream probably just cookies and cream don't ever say just cookies and cream you don't have to be you don't have to apologize for favorite ice cream it just seems so simple that's okay hey there's jennifer christensen just jumped in uh jennifer if you can get your audio connected we're just going around doing introductions uh saying where you are uh, what you teach and what your favorite ice cream is Uh, we can barely hear you. Go ahead, Jennifer. Oh, and there's Arlie Brooks now. Two. Okay. People jumping in. So Arlie, go ahead if you want. Did you hear? We're just going around the room. Uh, tell us where you are, what you teach, and what your favorite ice cream is. You may not have connected your audio yet. If you go to the quick start tab, hey, here we go, people jumping in. There's a button there that says connect my audio. There's Jennifer, all right. Welcome, Jennifer. 
Am I supposed to see you? Uh, once I start talking some more, you, it should switch to me. Uh, there's oh. a there's a participants tab, the little triangle next to it. If you hit the, the triangle to the left of participants, you should see all the video. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's the weird thing about WebEx is it doesn't show that Sorry. by default. No, I'm late. you're learning. No, it's okay. You're fine. So <laughs> tell us where you teach and what you teach and your favorite ice cream. Canyon View Middle School, Science and Social Studies, and Mint Chocolate Chip. Speed round. Good job. <laughs> uh, Arlie Brooks, if you're connected, go ahead and uh, tell us where you're at and what you teach and your favorite ice cream. Okay, North San Pete High School. I teach Family and Consumer Sciences, and I actually like um, mint chocolate chip as well. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> cool. Well, th again, thank you guys for coming in on, on such short notice. Uh, we appreciate it. This will, like I said, this will be a standing meeting. We'll do this every Thursday at four o'clock as best we can. Uh, I do have a page. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can uh, talk through some stuff and kind of give you an introduction to the course and uh, make sure you're aware of what's going on and what we'd like you to do and our expectations and things like that. And uh, Brandon, jump in if I forget something or if you want to add anything. Um, will do. Okay. So, and again, with the, with the, addition of this image. I just, I was in a training today where they talked about Adobe Spark for banners. And so I just made that real fast today. Uh, but the content, everything should be the same between my class and Brandon's class. Uh, so if you're in my class and have questions of Brandon, you can ask him or vice versa. Uh, I guess I'm opening that up to you. Are you okay with that, Brandon? I'm just fine with that. Yeah. Brandon's listed as a teacher in my class. So if you send a, an email to either one of us, we'll We'll get you, and I'll, I'll guess he'll add me to his if he wants. Um, so pretty self-explanatory, my background. Please let us know if you're struggling, if you need help, if you need extensions, whatever else. Uh, my phone number's there. My email's there. You can always also email us within the, uh, the Canvas okay, inbox. Canvas. We get that stuff. Um, again, we'll meet every Thursday at 4 o'clock. You don't have to be here live in person. We'd love to see you. Uh, feel free to like, if you can't be there and email in a question beforehand, if you have, if you know, you're going to have a question, uh, we'll just answer it in video and then you can watch the archive later on or the, so that everybody else can benefit, uh, from, from that question, because odds are, if you have a question, most everybody else probably will too. Uh, so just let us know if you're struggling or anything like that. Um, the page there does go to, uh, the connections instructions you guys have Apparently they're they're well enough written so that you know how to join. Um, I've got the schedule here. Uh, this week eleven is on, uh, or sorry, week twelve is on Monday, November twenty seventh, uh, and you might be able to guess why I kind of put that. I for my class I changed the due dates for that last week, or for the week before maybe. I'd have to look at it. Anyway, because of Thanksgiving. I don't want you guys doing, I don't want you guys meeting with me on four o'clock on Thanksgiving day. So, so I'm not going to expect you to do, I'm going to be watching football and in a, in a coma of food and pecan pie. Uh, so we'll meet that next Monday uh, and wrap everything up for the, for the class. Uh, but otherwise, it, you know, we'll, we'll try to meet every Thursday afternoon at four o'clock. Uh, I will post the video once we're done. I'll, I'll record these and post them to my YouTube channel. Which is, which is here. This is my playlist. So sorry if I just go back to my, and I need to remember how to get to my own channel here. So home. You can see what I've been watching. This is a really good video. If you want a fun music video, Kirby, Aesop Rock. Uh, let's see. I just want to go to my channel. Sorry. SEDC Clint is it. Or I could have just clicked on the link, right? So here's my YouTube channel. Everything I upload into YouTube, if you subscribe to me here, feel free. Uh, but you'll get like everything I post. And if that's too much for you, you can jump this EdTech endorsement playlist. We'll have all Happy of Monday. the videos uh, from this meeting that we post. They'll be over here on the right and as we go. So you can always come back and catch up on those. Uh, on these meetings if you're not able to join us uh, in person. Brandon's going to lead the meeting on even weeks 
I will lead the meeting on odd weeks unless our calendars don't quite work out that way. Um, but again, well, we're going to be working through this together. Brandon and I talk to each other all the time. So if you have problems, let, let one of us know and we'll, we'll help you out. Uh, mostly the course is broken up into these modules or into a big module. Uh, I've got some reference pages up here at the top. Uh, we've looked at that one, the weekly reading resources. Uh, there really is no book for this course, uh, but there are a lot of PDFs. There is this understanding by design. Uh, you don't need to go out and buy the book because we have digital versions of all the chapters that you're going to need. Uh, so this, this uh, reading resources page just kind of overviews the reading that we have for each week and a supplemental reading and then the discussion that goes along with it. Uh, we will have a weekly assignment. There will be a weekly discussion, at least one. We've got two discussions this week, and I'll explain why. Um, but this page just kind of does a big overview of the stuff that you're going to need. Uh, and if you just click on it, it should just jump right into the, that page, and you should be able to, to view that, that right there. Uh, but mostly each week uh, within the modules page, there's a, an overview page for each week where we talk about you've got the reading, we've got the link to the seminar, uh, a, week, a link to the assignment, the activity, and then the, uh, the Utah Educational Technology Standards and the ISTE standards for coaches that uh, kind of follow along with each week's assignment. Um, so the seminar for this week, that's we're doing that right now. How about that? Uh, the reading is about personal learning networks, uh, the values of those, why you need to set those up. It's a PDF there. Uh, or why we think it's important for you to do that. Uh, and again, it's a PDF. You can view it right in there. If you're using the Canvas app on your iPad, you can just read it from your easy chair or whatever you want to do. Um, let's see. Let me back up. If I go to the actual page there for the reading, it'll be embedded. So each week's reading will be embedded, viewable there, right, right within the Canvas page. Uh, with the new Canvas document viewer, you can maximize that and just make it full screen right from within Canvas, so it's super easy. Uh, the activity, the assignment for this week, is we would like you to, if you have not done so, establish uh, an account on some social uh, platform, either Twitter or Google+, and then uh, tell the assignment is to turn in uh, to me or Brandon how or your account and the platform you created on and why you chose that platform or, you know, if you have a, if, if you have an option here or there. Um, rubric for each week should be listed there so we, you know what we're expecting <clears throat> that way. Uh, and then so that you can connect with your fellow classmates and peers, uh, if we just kept this as a Canvas assignment, you wouldn't be able to see everyone else's uh, Twitter handles or connection information in a Google Plus page. So the next assignment for this week is in a, just a quick discussion, just reply and let us know. So if you'd like to connect with, you, with me, and I can't spell, follow me on Twitter at SEDC Clint. Thanks. So that's a pretty tough assignment for this week, I know. Um, anyone have any questions about that difficult assignment we have you doing for this first week? So we seriously just set up an account? We don't have to do anything fancy? Uh, we'd like you to follow five or six of your classmates. Yeah, maybe 10 if you get real crazy. Um, but yeah, set up an account, connect with your peers, and that way we can use that connection outside of, outside of the class um, to share what you're doing, ask for help, bounce ideas off of each other. Once this class is done, you're not going to come back to this discussion <laughs> and you know talk to each other about ideas that way, but you can use these you know, this, this uh, PLM after we're done with this class and going forward to, uh, to help you out. Good question. Brandon, anything you want to add? Yeah. Yeah. With, with uh, all the assignments, um, they are weekly assignments. Try to get them done by Wednesday evenings. With your discussions, you could get those posted earlier in the week by Sunday, so others have time to review your your uh, video posts and comment on them. But the other assignments by Wednesday night. Right, and and that's yeah. we cover that. I appreciate that. Where'd my next button go? 
Um, in the real discussion for this week, um, I do link back to this page, weekly discussion, expectation, exceptional response, consideration pages. And that, th that page does detail that we'd like you to do your first post by Sunday evening so that others can have time to read and post. And then and your, nice. say again? Be nice, it says too, right? <laughs> we're be always nice. nice. Yeah, we're always nice. It's always constructive. <laughs> We always want you to be constructive and, and you know, help each other out, for sure. Um, but as, as far as instructors go, I am totally open to constructive criticism. If it doesn't make sense or it needs to be better, please let me know. I'm, I'm always happy to, to look at what I'm doing, for sure. Um, but you may notice that each week, please post a short response using tools like Screencast-O-Matic or Screencastify. So we are expecting you for your initial post each week to do a video of yourself speaking to other people. And I know teachers hate that, um, but guess what? You do it every day and your students see you every day. And in an online class like this, this is really the best way to one, get over that phobia and two, so that we can learn who you are and figure out, you know, learn who you, so we can make that connection so that when when we are at that conference together or something like that, we can say, hey, here you are. You don't have to, so you can just, we, so we just get to know each other. And it really is a good skill that you have with, so that uh, you, you can be more free to do this and share this with your students, with your administrators when they ask you to videotape yourself. It just, it's a good practice to, uh, to get used to. So that's what we're expecting this for just the initial post. Okay, your responses can be, if you want to video your responses or your, replies to other people's posts, that's cool. Uh, if you want to type those, that's that's perfectly acceptable. But uh, questions on that? Anything you want to add, Brandon? Can I ask a question? Please do. Um, are there instructions of how to do that? Like how to video yourself and do it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And if you if that, you need help, like, let yeah. us know. Uh, <laughs> if you want to use uh, your, your mobile, your iPhone, your mobile device, and video you that way and email it in, or attach it that way, you can do that. Um, that again, this this page here, yeah, let me you know, let me show you that. So if I go to reply, this button right here, if I, can you guys see that, zoom in? Record slash upload media. That button right there is built into Canvas and that allow you to record your video right from it. And it's not gonna let me do it because my camera is being used by something else. Um, but you can just do it right there, record it right from within Canvas. Uh, awesome, thank and you. There's some, some links here up above, plus on the video page. I think the easiest thing for, for me is the Screencastify. It's a Chrome extension, and it allows you to record either your just your computer screen or your webcam or both at the same time. But it's just a quick, easy Chrome extension Excuse me, that you can install, record yourself with your webcam, and then just post the link to that in the discussion. And again, we'll be lenient this first few weeks, the first couple of weeks, just getting used to it. If you're struggling, let Brandon or I know, and we can reach out and help you out and give you some options or alternatives. Hey, Clint, I have a question. Please. Um, can we work ahead? Yes. Brandon and I discussed this earlier. Um, all the rest of the UEN courses that you've had are week by week modules and they unlock on Wednesday and they lock back up on your, everything's due or Thursday mornings and they lock Friday, Wednesday night. Um, it's this, this is a big, yeah, life happens and it's a big course and it's a long, you know, 12 weeks is a long time. So if you're going to be gone or you know, you're going to be gone, go ahead and work ahead. Okay. If you, we don't want you to get too far behind because again, the discussions are more meaningful when, when you're participating live. Um, right. Yeah. We would like you, though, when you're replying to your peers, to maybe not do that two weeks ahead of time. <laughs> so okay. we don't want like four people having a discussion, you know, three weeks ahead of everybody else. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you need to do those discussion posts ahead of time, cool. If you want to work ahead on the assignments, that's excellent. But okay. as much as you can, uh, participate in in the responses in that weekly discussion during the week. Okay. Thank you. Fair enough. Yep. Okay. Included. Okay. I don't know about you, but for me, if you're late on an assignment, let me know. Hey, I'm going to be late this week, and that that's just fine. Yeah, that's fine. We just don't want you to be a month behind on on everything. <laughs> so we, we know. Hey, Travis, welcome. 
All right, so that's the discussion. That's the expectation of the weekly discussions. Uh, for this week's discussion, just again, short introduction of yourself. You don't need to um, maybe a minute long of you know what you teach, what you're looking to get out of this course. Um, you don't have to share what your favorite ice cream is. Um, but again, just a quick introduction so we can so you can get used to using the tool mostly, uh, and that you can so that we can get to to know the people in the class. So, and then I think that just goes to week two, which is uh, learning environments. Yeah. So pretty easy this first week. We're going to get meaner on you as we go. I promise. No, we hope it's a, a rigorous class and uh, things. It, it, it'll push you a little bit to learn some more, some try some new things uh, and to improve your practice. Uh, anything else, Brandon, you want to add? No, I think for me, I'm good. Okay. Any other questions from anybody? Yeah, anybody else have any questions? And Travis, you can't say do it all over again because I just joined. Come on. <laughs> I know Travis. I can pick on him. We'll make him watch the video. Um, any other questions from anybody else? Okay. Ideally, this is about the ideal length of this thing. We, d we don't want to keep you forever. You know, maybe plan on four to five, but if I'm going to guess we're going to get done by 420, 430 most of these weeks. So we don't want to keep you forever. Just want to make sure that, that you're on track, that you're feeling good about things, that your questions are answered. So uh, if we're good, we will adjourn and let you guys go watch some football tonight. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. And just go up and close the meeting center window to, to jump you. out of the meeting. Yep. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun, everybody. See ya.